Hi everybody, today we're going to look at how to find the maximum or the minimum value in a quadratic function. There's several methods to do this. The first method we're going to look at together is completing the square. When you have an equation in standard form, f of x equals 2x squared plus 12x minus 7, our first step is to factor out that a value from the first two terms. I factor the 2 out, leaving me with x squared plus 6x. I can leave that minus 7 as is. My next step, I want to turn that binomial into a perfect square trinomial. So I'm going to take my b value, 6, divide it by 2, 3, and square it to get 9, and I'm going to add 9. Now I can't just add 9, I also have to subtract 9 in order to keep the function the same. In our next step, I don't want that minus 9 inside the brackets because that isn't part of my perfect square, so I'm going to move it out of the brackets. And in order to do so, I have to multiply by the coefficient 2, which gives me minus 18. My final step, I'm going to factor that trinomial, which will factor into x plus 3 squared, my perfect square as I created, and then simplify the last two terms outside the bracket into minus 25. My last step is to decide, is this a maximum or a minimum? In order to determine that, we use the a value. a is greater than 0, it's positive, so we're going to have a minimum value as our parabola opens up. My minimum is going to occur at the vertex, and I use my h and my k value to get point negative 3, negative 25. In the second example, again we have an equation in standard form, f of x equals 0.05x squared plus 3x minus 7. Again, we're going to complete the square to convert to vertex form. Our first step again is to factor out that 0.05, the a value, which leaves us with x squared plus 60x inside brackets. Negative 7, again the c term does not change. In our second step, we're going to convert that binomial into a perfect square trinomial. I take my b value, 60, divided by 2, 30, squared, 900, and I add 900. Don't forget to subtract 900 as well uh, to not change the function. In our next step, we move that negative 900 out of the brackets. Again, to do that, we multiply by our coefficient, 0.05. When we do that, we end up with a value of negative 45, which will go outside of the brackets. In our final step in completing the square, we factor that trinomial. Again, it's a perfect square trinomial. It'll factor into x plus 30 squared. And then we combine our two constant terms at the end to a value of negative 52. Now again, we decide if this is a max or a minimum based on our a value. So a is positive. Our parabola opens up, so it's going to be a minimum. And then the minimum is going to occur at the point of our vertex. Okay. Remember, we take our h and our k values to give us the point negative 30, negative 52. So we have a minimum at negative 30, negative 52.